Hello YouTube, it's Joe Bob on half. And a uh, special hello to uh, uh, John Boy Walnut. Um, okay. This is a video that is clarifying my hatred for my girlfriend's grandparents. Um, basically, my hatred for them, or not, it's somewhere between hatred and dislike, but it goes on many different levels. I just said it very briefly, at one of the things that currently annoys me about them is the fact that they play Christmas music 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, the same two CDs, so it's the same songs over and over, it's worse than your local Christmas station, from... The day after uh, Halloween until probably the middle of January. I called them white trash, or I called them trash. Not white trash specifically, but trash as in their character and their people are trash. This is not the only reason. There are many different reasons. I didn't feel I wanted to, I'd probably mention them here or there, but I have 250 videos, so it's probably gotten lost. So, I'm going to go through and I'm going to list all the reasons why I dislike them. They are people who m moved into the city, the edge of the city, back when it was a nice city. When it was an all-white city. Well, not all-white, but that section of the city was all-white. They moved in, they had barely a high school education. They moved into the city, bought their house, and lived there. And then the white people started moving away. And now, the sentences that are coming across here are more their words than mine, so don't hold them to me. Then the white people started moving away, and the blacks moved in. Then the black people started moving away, and the Puerto Ricans moved in. Those are you know, their words, not mine. But, um, here's the thing. Um, they, especially, this is not as much her grandfather. I'm okay with her grandfather. He's, he's a down-to-earth guy. This is mostly her grandmother. Her grandmother has very little education. And yet thinks she knows everything. She thinks she knows everything about the world. I'm not just talking about people. I'm talking about science, technology, math. She's, she's, she's not. She... I tend to be too calm in most of my videos. So I can't really get into a big rant about her right now. But what really pisses me off about her grandparents is because they're closet racists. I said many, many videos back that I was going to make a video about racism. I never did. This is my video about racism. Because apparently now, I'm a racist. Anyway, so I'm going to make this my video on racism. Here's the thing. I classify racists into several different groups. There are the open racists, such as the, the pro-hate debate here on YouTube. He is an open racist. He's openly racist. He's a human being about it, unlike most open racists. But he's an open racist. I at least have a little bit of respect for these people, because they have the balls the balls to admit that they're racist. Then you've got the, how do I say this? The secret racists. These, I hate these racists. These are the racists who are racist around their friends, but in public, they're not racist at all. Then you've got, and I don't like these people at all. And then you've got the closet racists. Closet racists 
are racists who they know that they're racist. They know that they're racist, but they won't tell anyone that they're racist. So instead of admitting that they're racist, even tell the racist. Oh, oh no, no, but now what, let's say if they get around there, you know, if they're buddies, they may let the end, the end bomb slip 20,000 times when talking in ill will manner towards black people, but that still doesn't make them racist in their mind. Because that's just talking. But the closet racists, instead of saying racist, you know, say, being racist, they say special words. These special words include, instead of saying kike or Jew, they say Hebrew or Hebrew faith. I have many friends. I had a boss once of the Hebrew faith. Or instead of saying what they mean, gangster Hispanics, this is not my words, their words, they say bad element. Okay, back to my grandparents. Or not my grandparents, her grandparents. Oh, to God, they never my grandparents, for that main reason. They moved from where they lived, which is a small town, or a small city of maybe 100,000 people. North, 30 miles to move away from the, quote, bad element. Seriously, you wanted to move away from the bad element, you would have moved five miles out of town. Seven miles out of town, not 30 miles out of town. They made sure to move to a place that was all white, all Christian community. Okay, so... They're dumb. By they, most of the time I'm talking about her grandmother. She's dumb. She's racist. And she doesn't love anyone but herself. The, the kind of things that she says to Jess, I'm not even going to repeat on here. Even my haters, who are trying to insult me and insult Jess... Some of them even don't say shit that bad. She's a horrible person, and I hope she dies. Eventually. Of natural causes. Maybe something painful. Does that make me a bad person? I don't know. Now let me ask you a couple questions. And if you answer no to all of these questions, then you have a reason to hate me. Okay. Have you ever hated one person so much that when angry, reach for any word to use against them, to hate against them? Have you ever been in traffic? and been cut off by a really ugly woman and used any of the following words dyke, bitch, cunt, slut, or dumb broad. If you have any of the following words for being cut off. If you've ever been cut off by an old person who, dr and who drives in front of you at one mile an hour and said something along the lines uh, dealing with hatred, beatings, or death. No, I hope you've never said anything about death, but you know what I mean. You know, something along the lines of, let's say, why don't they take away your license and send you home? Or call them old farts or something like that? Okay. Do you, I, I could go on and make more bad analogies, but... I'm starting to reach 10 minutes, and even though I can go over 10 minutes, I don't like to burden you guys with that much of a video. So, let me just end it with this. Do you understand why I use the word white trash? They are trashy people, in my opinion, or at least her grandmother is a trashy person, and she's white. So in my mind, she's white trash.
if this offends you, I'm sorry. I deserve all of your hatred. But, at least this much, at least this proves that a white person, or that someone, that people, can be racist towards white people. And as long as it's possible for people to be a racist against any group, I'm fine with that. This is Joe Bob One Half, always preaching two things love and peace.